Hello friends, <laughs> welcome back to my channel Plus Size in Canada. My name is Miranda and I'm happy that you're here to hang out with us today. Curtis is filling up the car with gas and we are about to head in to Costco. Do you want to come with us? Let's go in, let's buy some stuff. We might be buying some bigger stuff than usual today and I am very excited about that. Let's go shopping and then you guys can come back to my house. We can chill for a bit and I'll show you everything that we got. $675 spent at Costco. Um, we were actually going to spend significantly more than that, as weird as that sounds. Um, if you noticed in the clips, did you notice something that I picked up that I haven't picked up in a really long time? Or on YouTube ever? Dishwasher. We were going to get it from Costco. We ended up buying it somewhere else but it is getting installed this week and I am so excited. This is gonna be a life-changing thing and it's gonna save me so much time. And What's honestly- What's dishwasher? Is it the thing that you put the dishes in? Yeah. Is it the thing that's over there but it doesn't work? Right. Why doesn't it work? Um, Cause I, we broke it. Huh? Yeah. How rude. I know, right? Come well, on. Well, dishwashers don't last for forever and that was the one we bought when we moved here. So. We've been without a dishwasher too long. I don't even, did we even have a dishwasher when you were a baby? Was it working? I can't, I honestly don't even know. We've you lived life, we've lived I life for think, so long without baby, a dishwasher that it's like, I forget. Broke it. I broke him. You broke it when you were a baby? <laughs> so I am like so excited to get that time back in my day. Maybe it will help save the nails that I paint every other day because I wash dishes all the time. We still will wash dishes because you know if you're an adult, even if you have a dishwasher, you don't wash all of your dishes in the dishwasher. It will just save so much time and it will be so much less. But you guys, everything that's on this table, you see that? Mm -hmm. $675. We're executive members at Costco and about a month ago we got our 2% check back. Is that what it is? 2%? Yep. And it pretty much bought us this vacuum. So um, I was just waiting for Curtis to go to Costco with me because for some reason, which makes no sense, he is the number one person on our account. So the check was made out to him, which is some bullshit because we all know 
I'm the number one person at Costco, okay? And it should be in my name, so I don't know what we did when we signed up. We screwed something up somewhere. But anyways, he was there with me, so we didn't have to pay $675 in cash because this beautiful cordless lightweight vacuum was almost paid for completely by that check. Um, basically, we just paid a little bit extra and then the taxes. <sighs> but you guys, Curtis was trying to talk me out of it. He was trying to, he played his games. I took a picture of this last week when I was at Costco. And like I did my research, checked the reviews, got some advice from some of my friends here on YouTube. And I picked out this Shark Cordless Pet Plus, okay? This was the one that I wanted. Of course, Curtis saw one that was like $69 less. And he was like, what about this one? This one looks nice. And sure, it looked nice. It looked heavy. And he's like, he lifts it up. He's like, it's not heavy. And I was like, okay, let me, like literally wasn't like not ready to lift it. I was ready to lift it. I dropped it. I dropped it because I had my phone in my hand and I just thought, oh, if it's that light, I can just use like my fingers around my phone. No, I dropped it. So I was like, don't even try, babe. I already got it picked out. I was like, lift up that shark and tell me that that's light. And the one you just showed me is not. And he agreed that the shark is much lighter. So Curtis's problem with the shark is that the like little holder thingy where like the dirt goes and the pet hair goes, um, it's very little, it's very little. And he's like, you're gonna have to empty it like multiple times while, while you're doing the floors. And I was like, I know, but it won't hurt my back or it will hurt my back way less than the one we currently have or the one he was trying to sell me on which is just too heavy. I see all these moms, like I got the FOMO because I wanted it so bad because I see all these moms on YouTube and TikTok just like so beautifully doing their floors and not hurting their backs. I have scoliosis, like literally. <laughs> I'm not just teasing. Like I have an S-shaped spine and my back hurts every single day. So I need to do things a little bit differently to try and not throw my back out or hurt my back more than it already does. Actually, weight loss has helped a lot with my back pain, but the last time I got out our vacuum, <laughs> let me show you, just let me show you. There it is. Oh my, you're scared Jasper. He hates the vacuum. It's okay, buds. It's okay. I'm not doing it. This right here, we should actually weigh it. Can we weigh it? Oh, it weighs next to nothing. Babe, it's so heavy. You don't know. It's just weak. It's okay. Mm, weak in the knees, baby. <laughs> Literally the very last time. I Sorry, I moved it. It scared him again. I'm sorry, Jess. Um, the very last time I used it. I'm going to put it back, okay? Look, it's going in there. Okay, it's all good. He's such a scaredy cat, you guys. Um, anyways, the last time I used it. I literally pushed it one time on my carpet over there, my area rug over there. And I literally hurt my back with the very first push. And that was the straw that broke the camel's back, if you will. I looked at Curtis and I was like, nope, we're getting a new vacuum. Nope, I'm not doing it anymore. Actually, oh my heck, something even funnier happened today. Curtis is a fan of using the broom to sweep the area rug. And what happened today, babe? I snapped it right in half. He snapped the broom right in half. I'm an aggressive sweeper. Do you guys see that Jasper is desperately trying to get some of Winnie's oh, fries? <laughs> he paws us like this, just like he wants a gentle touch to let us know that he's waiting for his bite. Golden Retrievers, man, I swear they are actually children. What? Don't you think? He does not act like a dog. Look he's at that a, paw. He's not a dog. Please, sir, he's help me, dogs. sir. I'm hungry. <laughs> Anyways, I think this vacuum is going to literally make my life easier. And that combined with the dishwasher, you guys, things are looking up. Things are looking up for sure. All right, Curtis is gonna go get this baby set up for me. Yeah, All right, thanks yeah, guys. Helper. I've got a few new things to taste test for you guys today and a sweater to try on. So let's get to the haul. 
Um, Curtis got himself some eggs. He's pretty much been having eggs like every day, which I'm happy for him because he really likes eggs. He's the only person in the house who does. Yes. But you go, Glen Coco. Dad said this was purple. It's blue. Curtis, you're so colorblind. That is so obviously blue. It's not purple. The color of the pen that I hold in my hand is blue. Royal blue. Royal blue. Royal blue. <laughs> liar, liar. Jim Carrey. Amazing. Um, I got some of these red grapes. Curtis prefers the green grapes, but the green grapes just looked too big, and they had those little brown spots on them and that's a no for me i don't know why grapes do that sometimes but all it's a dead giveaway for me that they're not going to be good so i got these and they were a dollar cheaper anyways these are something that i'm going to taste test in this video because these apples are from new zealand i have some subscribers from new zealand hey guys how you doing i'm excited to try some of your apples we also are running low on baby carrots so i got another package of these and you get two two pound bags for eight dollars and 99 cents i got some of these peppers you guys i'm big into the pita pizzas again in my life and i put an entire pepper on one pita pizza of course, with like other toppings as well. It's just, I'm really loving these. So I grabbed another bag of them. And also these right here, six green peppers for $3.99. Are you kidding me? And like, they are fresh. They look so good. They feel <laughs> hard. <laughs> Sorry. Um, but these are perfect. And I think they'll last a couple weeks in the fridge. So I'm going to be eating away at them. Is he scared of that one now, too? It's not done yet. Look how sleek. Is it so light? Yeah. Oh, babe, you can do the vacuuming now. That's so awesome. I love it. Do you love it? I love vacuuming. Yes, you are a very big helper in this house, and I'm so grateful for you. Of course, I had to buy some more mini cucumbers because we go through these, like in a few days, honestly. Um, I wish I could buy more than one bag at a time, but I find they don't keep very well. Um, so I just buy one bag at a time. And I do want to start going to Costco more often for produce only. Now, this is something that I have said multiple times on my channel and I annoy myself, okay? Because I say that and then I don't do that. And honestly, that is literally down to me not having the time. But school is starting back up again, which, oh, I just like felt a little, sorry. Oh, I'm really not looking forward to that. I'm so not ready. Anyways, but I am ready for the kids to be gone. So <laughs> it will be a good thing. And I will be able to take care of myself even a little bit more. And that means keeping fresh produce in the house. When you talk to anybody who eats super healthy, it is very common for them to go out to the grocery store to buy fresh produce every couple days. So we don't live in town, we live outside of town. So it is like a 25 minute drive to the grocery store, but I, I really do wanna do that. I know it costs money, everything, I mean, it's crazy. It's crazy. Everything costs money. It's It blows my mind, but I don't know. We'll have to save in other areas because food is really important and we need to eat and I prefer to eat healthy, all of us, you know? So hopefully coming to Plus Size in Canada near you, Costco every couple of days. I won't be paying 675 every couple of days though. <laughs> That's dangerous. So definitely not but I do think I'm gonna to try to get there more often. I might not always share it, um, just cause I don't wanna like annoy you with my grocery shopping. I don't know, am I annoying? <laughs> don't answer that, please. <laughs> so I got just two creamy dill pickle salads and two of the Caesar salads. Literally, the last time I went there, guys, I'm not even gonna lie, some of the salads went bad in the fridge um, because I bought too many. We ate out a couple times. I had picked up some fresh veggies from our local market and I had that instead. And you guys know these things don't keep. So if you don't eat them right away, I mean, they're going to go bad. So there's nothing worse than opening a salad. Literally happened to me yesterday. 
opening a salad and getting hit with a disgusting rotting scent of whatever was in that bag. So, you know, okay. Um, yes, I ate my weight and, well, maybe not my weight, <laughs> jokes. Um, I ate a ton of Skinny Pop. It's because I skipped lunch, I had some nuts, and then we went back to town. If you watch my Walmart haul, then you know what I'm talking about because I posted that first and this is the second half of that day. So I was hungry for some Skinny Pop. I am going to eat a very nutritious supper. Um, got some all dressed ruffles, of course, and I got the veggie straws too, because I mean, when in Rome, okay, just buy what you want. These are something else that I'm going to taste test today. These are back. They were in the store a little while ago and then they left and you guys were like, Miranda, why aren't you trying the dill pickle nuts? And I'm telling you, it's because I'm the only one in the entire house that likes dill pickles. So this entire bag is only mine. It was only like $6.99, I think, so it's not like it was super expensive or anything. And there's a lot of nuts in here, one kg. I just, I'm worried that if I like them too much, it's going to be a hard yeah. product for me to like eat in a good amount. Dimple pickle, dimple. Dimple pickle? <laughs> dimple pickle is all hurt. Yeah, nobody, people won't even sit with me when I'm eating dill pickle things. Yeah, when I eat dill pickle popcorn, literally I'm going to sit in front of the TV by myself. Like when I shake that stuff popcorn. on it. Yes, you like butter popcorn. I, butter. I like dill pickle. So anyways, hopefully this won't trigger me in any way. And I hope I like them. But maybe I'll have to share with a friend or something. Because that's just a lot of nuts. <laughs> I bought these hot rods. You guys, the last time I bought these, um, I think they were on sale $11.99. The regular price of these were $13.99. The regular price of them now, $15.99. This is happening in every item and it it's literally like a gut punch. 25 cents, 10 cents, 50 cents, cents, it's fine. When things jump up a dollar, $2, $4, Literally, it's like, it's frustrating, but it's like, there's no answer. And maybe there is, and I just haven't found it yet. I know I can coupon. I know. It takes so much time, you guys. It really does. And I have shopping anxiety. And honestly, I'm telling you the truth. I get worse anxiety when there's coupons or when I try to like mess with something or like talk to people like, yeah, I, I'm a hot mess express. Choo, choo, chugga, chugga. Okay. Like the fact that I can film myself in public and post it on the internet where people can talk about me and they do, they're jealous. That's okay. But I'm just saying like, literally the fact that I can do this, it's like, I deserve a massive high five and a massive nice slap on the ass, okay? Because I'm doing it. I'm just doing it in the amount that I can, okay? And coupons and shopping all over every stores and checking the flyers and stuff. I go through phases when I wanna do that, but usually it's like get in, get what you came for and get the hell out of there. That's what she said. <laughs> Oh my heck, it can like slice down into a little one? That is so amazing. It's already working. It, oh, and he's scared, you guys. You're to he's on scared. The tables. On the counters? That's what it says? Okay. Amazing. Just make sure you don't suck up any of your toys, okay? Listen to how quiet that is. That's way quieter than our usual one, right? <laughs> I got Curtis some of these waffles. He loves having them. Okay, Winnie just went back over there. You guys, my dog has anxiety too. He really does. I know, you really don't like vacuums. I was hoping this one wouldn't bother you. Oh, my scaredy cat boy. You're all right. Did you see mommy got chicken? <laughs> did you see the look? Yeah, mommy got three chickens. I really did. Yeah. Are you going to have some chicken too? Yes, you will. Beautiful boy. I got some more bacon. We really don't need it. I actually think I'm going to toss this right in the freezer. But you guys, I need to have bacon in the house. It's not the kids. It's me. 
It really is meat. I can't have Caesar salad without bacon. I just can't. It's not Caesar salad. It's lettuce. <laughs> okay. Like I gotta have it. $23.99 for that. And honestly, you get so much bacon in there. I totally find it's worth the price for me. $6.99 for these croissants. I don't think they will last long. Literally the last time I bought this was I think last week. I bought them at Costco in the morning, in the afternoon, I don't know, in the day. When I woke up the next morning, there was one left. One left. And the only people who eat those are Curtis, Skyler, and Cooper. One left. Wasn't even 12 hours, guys. Like it was literally the next morning. There was one left. And I mean, that was gone in the morning. So <laughs> just like, wow. And they don't keep for long either because they're made fresh. They're bakery fresh. So honestly, I'm glad that they go quickly because they're good for like two days. So they understood the assignment, I guess. I got some more of these Pinties fully cooked crispy chicken breasts. These come in handy and the kids can cook them in the air fryer. Curtis wanted me to buy the Erie Meats brand because it is cheaper. But I bought the Erie Meats brand before. It was two solid thumbs down. I can't even believe Costco is still, still selling it. Or maybe I just had a bad batch, but I'm telling you, they were gross. Um, so we're going to stick with the more expensive Pinties because this is a name that I trust. I haven't met a Pinty chicken that I haven't liked, to be honest. Their Ziplocs were on sale and I'm glad because I needed them anyways. So I got some freezer bags and also some sandwich bags. Got some more of my Gain fireworks. This stuff is the shit, guys. This smells like me. Mixed with a little bit of Marc Jacobs, okay? <laughs> I got some Gain flings the last time I bought laundry detergent. This is what I bought. And I'm sticking with it. It's easy. You toss, I toss three in per load because we do extra large loads, blah, blah, blah. And I just followed the instructions on the package. But they lasted me quite a while. Yes, they cost a little bit more compared to like the regular detergent or the gain regular detergent. But I just like it. It's easy peasy. And I'm trying to give myself more time back. So I'm going to be doing all of the things that make my life easier. Got some blueberries. Not sure if these are going to be great. I have had a couple berries lately and it's like we're nearing the end. It's pretty much the end of the summer. So I'm hoping that they're good. Made in Canada. Where from? I was going to say, are they from BC? You betcha. Abbotsford, BC. And then we got probably our last... Last of 2022 Nova Scotia berries. Again, they don't look fantastic. Um, I got the best one that I could find though. And it looks like I'm gonna be finishing it between today and tomorrow. Um, and then of course, what's gonna make my life so much easier, I got some finished jet, 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 okay, come on. Some finished jet dry. This biggest bottle ever. I, I've never bought Jet Dry at Costco. I don't think it's massive. Because normally it's like a one-use tiny little bottle like the size of a Crystal Light bottle. And I got the Finish Quantum Ultimate. I'm excited. You guys, pray for Curtis. He's the one putting in the, the dishwasher. He's like, oh, I can, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. He's figured out a lot of things over the years. It's just this job's kind of a big one. So fingers crossed all goes well. As Jasper was telling you guys, we got the three chickens, of course, for meal prep and deliciousness. I looked through the clothes when I was there. I, I like to look through the clothes. They're always well-priced and honestly so much cheaper if you find them at Costco than if you find them at a different store because you know Costco carries certain brands and you can find them for a way better deal there. Um, so I found this. I know it's totally plain. And literally, I'm wearing a plain black t-shirt. I bought a plain black hoodie sweater. Um, this is from Buffalo. I know that's a good quality brand. And it was $19.99. Um, I got it in an extra large. I was hoping they had it in a double XL, but they didn't. It said on the tag they only go up to extra large. Um, the reason that I bought this is because I wear clothes usually every day. Um, and if I have a bright colored legging or a biker short or whatever, if the bottom half of me is bright and patterny or colory and not just black, I'm weird 
and I need to wear black on top. I can't, like, I don't want to make anyone feel offended, but sometimes I see people wearing the same color and it's too matchy-matchy for me. It actually really bothers my OCD and literally talking about it is giving me goosebumps. I don't know why. I don't know why. Um, sometimes Curtis, well, he doesn't anymore because he knows me too well, but before he used to wear like gray sweatpants and a gray t-shirt and I'd be like, Gandalf the gray, get out. She teases me every time. Get out. You wear all black, you're the angel of death. You wear all blue, you're a blueberry. I'm sorry. It's 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 you, not me. Okay, like I just can't. It's it, it bothers me so much. And this is just the way that I am. So I like to have a selection of black basics. And that's my huge. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> I don't claim to have it all together, okay? I never have. I think this might be a little too small, but I mean, my body's still changing and everything, and I just, I wanna have options, and oh, it actually fits nice. There's no little, can I was about to put my hand in my pocket, but there's no kangaroo pouch. It's, oh, it's soft too. Definitely worth it. Okay, let me show you. There's no Disney, there's no like extra anything. It's just, a black sweater, hoodie. Honestly, you could layer this too. Like I could wear this, it's so thin. I could totally wear it underneath a jean jacket, which would be perfect for fall, for sure. So I think it's totally worth it. And they had other colors there too. I think this is a newer thing because I didn't see it the last time I was there and I bought a sweater the last time I was there as well. Literally, you guys, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, it's the low lay or lol anyways um i literally picked up another one it was gray and i was gonna buy it and i was like randy you just said if you like it you buy it in another color you like it i'm buying it in another color you need to stop doing that because you can have other things you don't always have to look like you're wearing a uniform <laughs> like, so anyways it's a miranda uniform it's it's much more comfy than anyone else's regular uniform but I just, yeah, I don't know. I want to look cute. And I feel like I'm in the season where I can take the time to look cute. And I just want to bless my husband with something pretty to look at. Okay. He deserves it. He works hard, baby. Okay. <laughs> Curtis just went to pick up Skylar and his friend. It's a girl. Um, so <laughs> I want to try out that food before they get here. Because I mean, having a mom as a YouTuber might be a little weird. So I don't wanna make the situation weirder at all. So let me grab that food and I'm gonna try it for you real quick. All right, I'm gonna try the apple first. I got it all washed off. Spilled a little water on myself like always. Honestly, it smells like plastic, but I'm not gonna blame New Zealand for that. I'm thinking it was probably the plastic bag that it was in. Um, but let's, let's give it a go. I was a really big bite. <laughs> so juicy. Ten out of ten. New Zealand, you're doing apples right. Holy shit, that's a good apple. This peanut package is not easy to open. Trying to not break it because it's a resealable package. Here we go. I got it. Okay. First impressions. <coughs> okay, I just got smacked in the face by that. See, I don't know. I don't know, guys. Okay. Peanuts go with chocolate, in my opinion. Peanuts and chocolate, like peanut butter chocolate. Those are like BFFs. No one ever says peanuts and pickles. Yum. At least not here. It just, I don't know. The smells, maybe I'll love it. I don't know. But the smells smell weird to me. <laughs> that sounds like a weird sentence to say. But anyways, let's try it. 
It looks really nice and salty. Okay, I can smell the dill pickle now and my mouth is watering. So <laughs> maybe somebody knows something I don't. I don't know what to think of it. I don't know. It's not horrible. It's definitely not horrible. It's a very strange flavor combination for me. It's like all that salt is like the dill pickle seasoning, which I actually have some right here. No, I don't think so. It's not bad. It's just not great. It's just not great. Like, this tastes like it should be popcorn with this shit on it to me. But, I don't know. I don't know. But, like, for me, with, like, healthy eating and eating disorder recovery and stuff, if I don't love something, why am I eating it? Like, I, I like to eat foods that I love. So... And there's a lot of foods that I love, so I don't need to make room for no, new food if I only kind of like it, you know what I mean? Probably give that to my sister, Kimber. See what she thinks. This is apple, though. Friggin' delicious. Here's the G unit. You got your <laughs> dirt devil mode. Ooh, sexy. Or your long dirt devil mode. Ooh, nice. And then Curtis. <laughs> or I'm so tired, you guys. <laughs> you also you can empty the canister with a or, piece or, of a or you can have a long fingernail. <laughs> a long fingernail. <laughs> so we've tried it a little bit. The verdict is it does not suck as good as our big G unit. Like the big one that's like a 50 pounder. That does suck really good. And that's probably part of the reason why I it's- say it worked good. It does, but it literally breaks my back. We do have three sucking powers here. Yeah, so there's low, there's low. medium, and high. And it, medium. there's a freaking headlight on it. Look wow. at this. There's a headlight on it. I just, I think, it's going to change my life. Like, I, I already think, swiped it a bunch, and I can move with it. It's, I, like, I very it'll agile. Be, it'll be really quick and easy to do your hard Yes, before. exactly. Especially not... I mean, this carpet is where Jasper lays the most, and this is where the most of the dog hair is and the fluff and stuff. But, like, under the table and, like, under those thingies and around the cabinets and stuff, it's going to be so much better. Yeah, Holy easy. heck. Do you guys see my cheeks? Day's over. She's cooked. <laughs> She's done so. I am so hot. I agree. <sighs> she is so hot. I mean, you can't argue with that face. No, can't. Actually, I can. I do it all the time. <laughs> Put your stick away. <laughs> On that note, I'm going to say goodbye. We'll catch you back here tomorrow. Bye, guys.